hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new on my channel my name is Stella I am an, I'm a new youtuber I am an education and lifestyle youtuber and um, kindly click the subscribe button it is a red button down there and if you wish and I think you should you can click the the bell just next to the um, subscribe button it gives you notification whenever I make a new video so you, you belong you automatically belong to the VIP group <laughs> and um, if you're not if you've been a member of this family welcome guys thank you so much for tuning in it's your girl Stella <laughs> so thank you so much for the uh, love you guys showed to us in my last video the video the husband tag that i did i enjoyed filming that video and i'm glad to know that you guys are loving that video really <laughs> it was a fun video and i would say that if you haven't watched it kindly um go to kindly watch it yeah you should <laughs> it's a fun video so um and also we we um we hit a hundred plus subscribers i mean it's a milestone for me we might think uh, 100 subscribers is nothing but it's a milestone for me so thank you so much guys to all the 100 plus subscribers that i have so far thank you so much and cheers to 1 million subscribers <laughs> oh my god yeah cheers to 1 million subscribers thank you so much guys for your support and please keep the support coming so yeah in today's video like the um the title of this video says i will be talking about the indian government scholarship called indian council for cultural relations um i said in my previous videos that i'm going to start up a series where i will be talking about different scholarship opportunities that are available for one to go study outside nigeria i will make my research as much as i can there are so many scholarships i may not even know all of them but any information i get i intend sharing it here on my channel so i popped in i just decided to go check um the the indian, indian council for cultural relations website and i discovered that the scholarship is actually open for application i never knew until i checked and i'm like no i have to share this to my family here on youtube so actually the indian council for cultural relations scholarship was a scholarship that um, sponsored me for my uh, master's degree in india like you guys already know if you've been following up my videos and yeah they are open for applications and apparently from what i saw on the website it has been on for a long time and in fact what i saw there is that the uh, application submission of your application have been extended to 31st of march meaning it has been there so you have very short time to submit your application so i'll just i'll be looking down some time because i had to jot down a few things for you guys so pardon me so yeah the scholarship has been extended to 31st of march you have a very short time to get your documents put together and start up your applications and then i also discovered that the method of application has changed totally from the method that i am used to so i might not be able to dish out so much information in this video so you have to go over to the website that i'm going to link the website in the description box so you just do well to go there click on the website and um, you will see all the information you need because now you have to create uh, um you have to do some portal login or something you have to log in your information and then a particular page opens for you to read i do not have access to that page because i can't log in because i'm not making any application but i'm very sure it's not going to be complicated you just go there open click on the link that i'll be putting in the description box you check out the information that you need to put in i think for you who is uh, a first timer you just um, sign in you're not logging in you're signing in so when you sign in you'll be given um, a page where you have to fill in all your important information for you to have a login id with that you can now begin um, you can now log in and then see follow the instructions therein but um for now in this video what i will just tell you is that the indian council for cultural relations scholarship is a scholarship opportunity that the indian government avails for lots of continents and one of which is africa so in this video i'm just talking about the african scholarship because that's the one i am aware of and if you're outside africa you can just uh, and you need the information from me you can do well to just drop your co your questions in the comment section i can make a research and then give you answers so the african scholarship is open for 
undergraduates post and uh, master's degree and uh, PhD and of course postdoctoral fellowship that's almost like all the opportunities that you can get I mean most of the opportunities you can get in uh, a tertiary institutional study and uh, all courses are the, the scholarship covers for all courses and it is a fully funded scholarship it covers all courses except uh, medical courses and para, I think um, para, some paramedics like they don't uh, uh, give opportunity for medicine medical lab science uh, pharmacy and those medical related courses but for um, social sciences natural sciences physical sciences um, I think arts humanities and law this scholarship is available for them and of course engineering this scholarship is open for them all and it is for uh, the scholarship is uh, four to five years runs for four to five years for undergraduate students and um, two years for master's degree three years for PhD and I think one year for postdoctoral fellowship <coughs> excuse me one year for postdoctoral scholarship uh, fellowship it is a fully funded scholarship that means it's um it, they pay all your fees once you're successful once you are successful and um, you get um, to receive um, monthly stipends every month you receive some living allowances which I had now is mouth watering unlike it used to be before when I was there it was just just enough for you to study there was no extras no luxury and all that but now I hear that they have reviewed their um, the amount being given to students and it's quite mouth-watering so yeah and um, they have only certain universities not all universities in India have been sponsored by ICCR ICCR actually is the acronym for Indian Council for Cultural Relations so only certain universities which you would also see when you open that website you will see the list of universities that you can apply to and um, of course they they also take care of your visa they take care of your flight to and fro India and the monthly stipends and your accommodation for some universities you're offered school, um, you're offered accommodation in the international student hostel so they pay your accommodation directly to the university and for some universities like when I studied in my own university they had to pay accommodation fees to me because um, I didn't have to stay in the university hostel I had my own um, I had my own home I had my own room so uh, they paid me and then I paid for my accommodation and yeah I think that's basically it I would just I'd say that for Nigerians you just go in there and I mean the online platform see what is there and if you have any questions anything that is not clear you can just drop it for me in the comment section I'll do my best to make research and give you answers in this video I'm not really able to give you details because everything has totally changed it's no longer the way I applied that it is being done now and um, to the best of my knowledge as at my own time um, you have to that application you're submitting it I think to the Indian um, High Commission, the High Commission of India in Abuja, and if you are successful at that stage, you are shortlisted. You are invited for an interview. At the end of the interview, and you are successful, then they send your documents to India to the various universities you applied for and the ICCR office over there in Delhi where they will also scrutinize your applications check if the courses you have applied for are available in the various universities and if you're successful you receive a success mail inviting you over for visa interviews and all that um, good stuff so yeah uh, my, my uh, advice here is that you should actually make research on universities you have a very short time so once you have created a login ID I would advise that you just quickly um, check the list of universities you have there check out check, check them out and um, check the courses that you want to study to be sure that they are available in those universities those in those um, information if you have all that and you make the right applications I think it increases your, it increases your chances of um, being selected but if you pick up a course that is not available in the university there is nothing they can do I mean your chances of being selected will be very um, low and I think you have access to applying for three universities 
and three different courses if you want to so yeah that's it for now and what uh would i say my food for thought now is that india is a very serious country like you might just think um it's a developing country so no big deal sincerely speaking india does not joke with academics if you're going to india for studies it's purely study there is no time for joke it's just work 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 so if you if you're ready for work 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 i am talking from my experience for master's degree at least if you're ready to work then india is for you you need to make up your mind that you're going just going to be there for the number of years working 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 in your field or whatever it is and yeah that's basically it that's um, the information I I am able to gather and um, just take notes that it will be it has been extended to 31st of March so you have just um, about a month and few days to tender your applications and this um in case if you're interested you make the applications and if you're not interested but you know anyone who may be interested both from, from undergraduate study to postdoctoral fellowship you should definitely definitely let them watch this video and follow the link that i'll be dropping in the description box to proceed with the applications like i said if you have any questions please drop in the comment section i'll do my best to answer them and if you feel it's a personal question i mean you don't want people to see your questions i'm just also going to drop my email address you could just send me a mail and i will do my best to reply you and give you the answers that you need so that's it for this video i think <laughs> so guys thank you for tuning in thank you for watching my video and like i said if you're new on my channel kindly click the subscribe button as out this is just the first video in the series that i talked about from time to time i'll be making research and bringing you scholarships that are open for applications and even if they're not open for applications i can just talk about them the processes involved and let you know when they are likely to open up for application so thank you guys for watching my video i will see you guys very soon and if you like this video kindly click the subscribe uh, kindly um give it a thumbs up by clicking the like button drop your comments and share my video i'll see you guys very very soon bye